Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Cause yeah, we did come back a lot, and then yeah, just couldn't, 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 couldn't finish it for real. Also, what do you like about this building? Last time you're in here, you get a triple double. Today, you put up a career best thirty eight. I didn't even know that. So, pretty much just going out there trying to play. Pretty much, I don't really think you got anything to do with the building. Or maybe because I'm in Boston. I don't, I don't know. This is what you expect. With a lot of teams fighting for spots down the stretch here. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of games like this. I assume. Yeah, definitely. I feel like, I mean, everybody want to make the playoffs and it's kind of tight right now. So I feel it's definitely going to be tight down the stretch like this. Thank you. Thank you. All good? Oh. Nick, go ahead. LaMelo, as you kind of digest how the end of the game went, I mean, what do you, what lessons do you guys take away that can serve you well down the road when you guys are in these battles again? Uh, pretty much just trying to squeeze out the best pos uh, possession for real. So whatever that is, but I feel like them last, the last two, they, they contested real good on, on our shots. Uh, I think one was PJ and the other one was me. So yeah, I, I feel like they contested them shots real good. I feel like we could have got a, you know, those crucial possessions. Rod, go ahead. Yeah, Mel, we mentioned those possessions for you guys. I mean, obviously in other games, you kind of guys have kind of won close games like that. So when you look back on the film and possessions like that, how do you, I guess, make sure it doesn't happen again next time you're in that same position? I mean, just taking what the defense gives you for real. I feel like we were just pretty much trying to take a three right there, even me and P. So maybe we could have took it off with a better shot or drove it. I don't really know. But go back and watch and then see from there. But they they very athletic, I feel like. So they cover ground good. So, I feel, man, that was probably just some good, good contest. And then you guys are two and one against Boston this year. They beat you guys two out of three games so far. Just how much do these games kind of help you prepare as you play teams like this? Potentially, maybe you can meet them in the postseason and stuff like that. Yeah, hey, I feel like every game helps us for real. It's just whatever you take in from it, watching the film, and then pretty much just get better from there and then learn it for next time. Michael, go ahead. Oh, I thought I was. <laughs> Broad, go ahead. Hey, Terry, you mentioned the atmosphere being like a playoff atmosphere. I mean, Celtics are a team that you kind of compete with in the Eastern Conference. You're going to play space Cleveland coming up, Miami, teams like that. Just what about that? And how important are you for the – how important is it for you guys to kind of win these games against teams that kind of fight for existing play, playoff spots with, I guess? Uh, I think we, we want to go out and win every game. That's our approach. Uh, we know these these Eastern Conference teams is uh, – they fighting for spots just like we are uh, down the line. And uh, it's going to be tough games, just like tonight. So we're looking forward to, uh, you know, Miami, the Detroits, the Cavs, and stuff like that. We, you know, we're going to keep being aggressive. And hopefully, uh, you know, we don't come up short like tonight. And then JB mentioned uh, the fourth quarter for you guys, teachable moments, uh, closing games out a little bit. What do you guys potentially can learn from the fourth quarter and the way you guys were not able to close the games out tonight like, like you had previously? Uh I think we'd be fine. You know, we're not perfect. You know, this is one of them games we couldn't close out. Like I said, we're playing against a good team. We got that got good veterans that 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 slow the gym down. And you know, if they up by a little bit with a little bit of time, it's, it's kind of like I said, it's kind of hard to get over the edge when you got veterans like they do. But uh, that's 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 what, that's what time of team we're trying to become. And you know, we're just gonna keep working at it. And we'll wrap up with one to Bobby. Hey, Terry, good to see you. Um, what stands out about the Celtics defense? What are the type of things that make Bobby. You're a little quiet, Bobby. Oh. Hey, Terry, I was going to ask, um, what, what makes playing against the Celtics defense so difficult at times? What kind of things that they do that made it difficult for <clears throat> you guys? Well, it's always helpful when they got guys like Smart and, uh, and, and Rob Williams. You know, them two was missing the last time we played them, and we, we made a big emphasis this morning that the, them two changed the game uh, defensively. You know, Rob being super long, smart being uh, a vet and know what's coming. He know all our plays and stuff like that. He making sure them guys stay intact with what's going on. So I think them two gets it started. And then you got a lot of guys that, you know, want to play defense shoulder. Uh, I can keep going online, Josh Richardson. You know, so them guys are you know, pretty good.